first thing I want to tell you about leadership is that it starts with you. Leadership starts with you, and so many times we put leadership and we talk about it like we put it on this big old pedestal, like you got to be this political figure, or you got to be this boss, or you got to wear this suit, and you got to be so perfect, but nah. It just starts with you and the decision that you make every single day to say, I'm going to be this type of person. I'm not going to let the world define who I am. I'm not going to conform. I'm going to stand for what I believe. I'm going to stand on my truth. And guys, I'm here to tell you that leadership is a process. It's not something that you just flip on and on like a light switch, like you just get here and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm a leader. Nah, it's a constant decision that you make. Leadership is about your brand, your personal brand, the mentality that you have, your confidence. So guys, how many leaders have you ever seen that when they get up to talk to somebody that they're, they're shy and they're like timid? Have you guys ever seen Martin Luther King when he get up, he's like, I have a dream, right? He said, I have a dream. He said he was confident. He was confident in who he was and who and what he believed in. And he was confident in the fact that he was, he was so confident that he was willing to give up his life for what he believed in. He saw that things were wrong that were going around him and he decided to speak up. In the times that we live in now, it's so many people that are just quiet, man. In your position, think about it. In your school, there's kids that I, I know that you have friends who are doing the wrong things and you can decide to be quiet or you can decide to, to believe in what you believe in and to speak out on it and to tell your friend, that person who you care about. Or it could be at home, that person that you love. You can speak your truth. That's what leadership is to me. I don't know about, I don't know what y'all think it is, but that's what leadership is to me because when I was y'all's age, once again, in high school, I have friends that are, are in the graveyard right now because they were, we were at a party or they were at a party and they decided to drink and drive and no, they walked out the door and nobody said, man, don't do this, man. Don't, don't, don't leave here. You've been drinking, just stay. I got you, let me take you home. That's leadership. Maybe they, they would have still been alive, who knows? So all leadership is, guys, is just having an influence on somebody. That's as small as the post that you put on Instagram. That's influence, somebody is watching that will pass when you leave these seats and there's going to be another group of young kids sitting right where you're sitting believe it or not and so it's going to be on you to look back and grab them by the hand and say this is how it's done and sometimes you don't even have to say it. it's just by the way that you live your life that's it and once again I can't tell y'all how many times I get reached out to by a young child who just believes who might be down themselves but because they seen me achieve my dreams, like they, they believe now. Going through my whole entire career, I was labeled as undersized. I was not supposed to play at University of Georgia. I was dang sure not supposed to play in the NFL. Both my parents were Liberian immigrants who came to this country in the 80s. My mom came with $10 in her pocket. My father came and he worked 12 hours a day. So for me to be a leader like in my family, and for me to achieve going to University of Georgia and going to the NFL, I had to be a trailblazer. That means that nobody else in my family, in my entire generation, did what I did, had the vision that I had. And some of you all, all sitting right here, you got the same vision, you got the same belief. And your parents, maybe, maybe nobody in your family did that, what you're trying to do right now. But I'm telling you, you have to take on those leaders. You have to understand that it's bigger than you, that it starts with you, it starts with you believing in your vision that you have and not being worried about what anybody else thinks. That's why I'm standing here right now because I understand that this is so much bigger than me. The life that I live, the challenges that I face, is so much bigger than me. I can't, like, I can't let this need stop me. I can't get down on myself. I can't keep moving forward because I know that there's some kid in the inner city, there's some kid in my family's home country of Liberia who is looking at me to succeed. And that's what you need to realize. Like, if you, when you make it, Believe it or not, there is gonna be some kid. What's your name, bro? Tray Trayvon? Trayvon, when you make it, man, when you become that leader that you're supposed to be and continue working on yourself, believe it or not, in your hometown, 
There's going to be kids that say, man, I want to be just like him. Believe it or not. There's going to be a parent that reaches out to you and say, man, Trayvon, can you just talk to my son, man, just one time? Just help him. He's, he's trying to get to where you at. And so what, what are you going to do as a leader? Pick him up, right? So that's what it's about. That's why I'm here with you guys right now. It's to pour into you guys so that you can be able to pour into that next generation. That's what it's all about. And we need y'all so bad. Like, we can't afford for y'all to be on, on social media and, and taking things lightly and just walking through life and being average. You guys are the next generation. You guys are the next leaders, believe it or not. So if you don't fight for what you believe in, if you don't speak up, this world is gonna be in chaos. Your generation is gonna be in chaos. So it starts with you and you have to have that mentality. In your high school, when you go back, this coming year, have that mentality that if things are to change, it starts with me. How many of you guys have made friends while you're here, right? That's awesome, I love that. Because as you guys go, some of y'all gonna go to the same college, some of you guys, believe it or not, 10 years from now, y'all be in different companies so you guys can help each other. Leadership is all about collaboration. You think, I would not be here right now if, Miss, if I didn't know Mr. Bob. So Mr. Bob's job, the, the true mark of a great leader is creating other leaders. And that's what Mr. Bob has done tonight. He's given me the platform to be able to be a leader and, and pour into you guys. So see, it's not, it's not just about me. It's not just about Mr. Bob. It's about all of us coming together and, and collectively having the right mindset. That's how change is created. So just think about those, those kids, those friends in your high school who have the same belief that you do. And stay surrounded with them because it's so easy, man. When you, when you get back in your high school, I remember those days. When I had the choice, I had to make the decision. I had a friend that would be like, man, Rennie, we all hanging out after school. I'll go to their house, what are they doing? Smoking weed. They're like, oh yeah, we just, we just chilling, man. We having so much fun, like just come. They smoking weed, playing video games. Like, that's not the vision that I have for my life. Like, why would I surround myself with that? It doesn't make any sense. So I, at that point, like I cared about them, I care about them to this day, but I had to make the decision to be a trailblazer, to go the different route. While everybody was going this way, I had to go that way. Even the folks like Mr. Bob, like listen to the people around you and you just absorb, absorb knowledge. Don't think that you have it all figured out. Don't get, be arrogant, just humble yourself and just develop your mind, surround yourself with leaders, surround yourself with bosses, people who you see like as successful but not just successful, who are significant and who have a good heart. Surround yourself with those people. Study their body language. Study the way that they treat people. I'm telling you, there's nothing that you won't be able to accomplish. And I'm telling you from experience. And there's nothing that you won't be able to do for your family. I have, I have an eight-year-old daughter. And the things that I'm able to do for her today, right now, or because of the sacrifices that I made when I was y'all's age. And the small little decisions that I made along the way. All those things, the things that I was able to do for my mom. All because of sacrifices, all because I just listened, that's it. So guys, that's it, I wish y'all the best. Thank you so much.